There's a good chance that at some point you're gonna need to buy an SD card, but there are so many confusingly different options that pop up if you just go and search for one on Amazon. How do you know which one to pick? SD cards are different from each other in only three important ways. The physical size of the card, the data capacity, and the speed. Let's start out by talking about the different sizes, standard SD, mini SD, and micro SD. Standard SD was the original SD card, and it's still quite common in cameras, while you often see micro SD in smaller portable devices, such as the Nintendo Switch and the smattering of smartphones that actually allow you to expand their storage. The good news is that you don't really have to worry about mini SD anymore, as that was a tweener size that virtually no newly manufactured devices are using. It's that awkward in-between phase, you know? Kind of stinky. These two sizes offer similar speeds and capacities, so just make sure whichever one you buy will actually fit into your device. But if you want to write protect your card to make sure nothing is accidentally overwritten or erased, you can only do that on a standard sized SD. Although you can get the same effect on micro SD by using one of these handy little adapters. Now let's take a look at storage capacity, which is a little more complicated. The modern SD spec can theoretically hold up to 128 terabytes on one card. Wow. But in reality, it's currently difficult to find anything above one terabyte. The only other thing you need to remember about capacities is to look for these symbols. An SD symbol without anything appended to it means you're looking at an older style card that can only hold up to two gigabytes. SDHC, which stands for high capacity, will give you up to 32 gigabytes, XC or extended capacity up to two terabytes, again, in theory, and UC or ultra capacity will let you reach that 128 terabyte mark if such SD cards ever become readily available. It's not just about size though. Be sure to pick whichever combination of letters your device asks for as some older devices won't support the new XC and UC cards though you might get them to work with a reduced capacity if you format the new card with the older FAT32 file system. We're now going to talk about speed. Arguably the most confusing bit. Right after it, we thank your tech goods and their magnetic charger for sponsoring this video. It comes with strong front-facing magnets that hold your phone steady over bumps and sharp turns while you drive. It works with any phone or case, including MagSafe cases and thick boys like the OtterBox. They even include a free magnetic ring that turns any phone case MagSafe compatible, so there's no need to switch to a new case to use it. Your Tech Goods has a great unboxing video that helps you get set up quickly, plus you get a 60-day money-back guarantee and free fast shipping. Check it out at the link below. The speed of an SD card is important if you're often using it to work with large files, such as game downloads, and it can be very important if you're using a nicer camera, as slower cards can't keep up with recording HD, 4K, or 8K video. But the reason it's so complicated to figure out what you need is that the markings that SD cards use to tell you their speeds are rather cryptic. So let's break them down. First, you're gonna see a number, either within the letter C or the letter U. The C is used for slower cards with the number indicating the write speed in megabytes per second, while U is for faster cards called UHS for ultra high speed. And here the numbers work a bit differently. A number one inside the U means it gets at least 10 megabytes per second of write speed, while a three indicates at least 30 megabytes per second. But that's not all. UHS cards will additionally have a Roman numeral. This indicates the bus interface, or a maximum theoretical speed that you're more likely to get close to for reads rather than for writes. Most cards currently on the market are UHS-1 or UHS-2, but UHS-3 delivers up to a whopping 624 megs per second, about the same as you'd get on a SATA SSD. But if you see an EX or Express instead of a Roman numeral, it means that the SD card supports the PCI Express bus, meaning you'll get close to one terabyte terabyte per second, and possibly even more if that card supports newer versions of PCI Express or uses multiple lanes. Finally, another marking you might see alongside the others is a letter V with a number after it. The V stands for Video Speed Class, and is just another quick way to show how many megabytes per second can be written to the card. V30 is recommended for HD, with V60 a good amount for 4K, and V90 for 8K. You know, it would be so much easier if they just clearly printed the speed on the card itself. But I guess sexy branding like XC and Ultra draws people in more effectively. Oh God, 
RGB SD cards are coming, aren't they? And thank you for coming to this place to watch this video all the way through. Hey, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, check out our other videos and comment below with video suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe and follow us. But just so you know, all the videos are gonna be here, so you can just come back here probably.